Hi everyone, hope you're all well. So I've just finished uh, loading up the Astra bus. So tonight, with any luck, and uh, it is due to be clear, I'm gonna be doing some imaging in a dark site in Suffolk. Um, we're actually meeting up with another astrophotographer of uh, Simon from Simon's Astro. And uh, we're gonna go down towards Dunwich. Um, there's a place called Wesselton Heath, which is a known dark site or we can go down to Dunwich Beach where we've once met before and we're going to hopefully get some uh, dark sky imaging done tonight. I've got the 130 PDS with the 294 MM Pro on board. Um, I'm going to hopefully get some Rosette Nebula uh, data. So the van's all loaded up. Got my little table in place. Got my laptop. Got all of my gear and uh, well if the sky's clear like they're supposed to, it could be a good night. We've just got to make sure we wrap up warm. So, let's get this all shut down, get everything ready for later, and uh, we'll see you then. My name's Glenn, you're watching Astrobike. So I'm all parked up waiting for Simon to arrive. Uh, I only had about a 15 minute drive to Yoxford and uh, Simon's got about a 45 minute drive so he'll be here soon. Um, be really nice to see him again. I've only met him once before. Really nice chap. And uh, more importantly, uh, since I've got my EQ8, um, my EQ6 is gonna be in my garden. So it means that Really, I don't need the HEQ5 anymore, so um, Simon was looking for a second rig and he's kindly bought it from me, so I'm really pleased it's going to a good home. I know Simon's going to love it and uh, tonight uh, is going to be my last night of using it, so um, hopefully I can get some uh, nice data as a, as a lasting memory from it. It's been a great little mount. Simon's got an EQ6R Pro, which is his main mount, which he'll be using tonight. And then I know that he's going to get on really well with the AGQ5. So Simon will be here soon and uh, you can, I'll introduce you to him. And then uh, we'll be making our way off towards uh, Dunwich and uh, where we'll hopefully be setting up for the night. Okay, everyone. So finally here, we're at Whistleton Common, is it, Simon? That is. And let me introduce you to Simon of Simon's Astro. Hi there. Hello, mate. You're all right. Hi. Good to see you again. Yeah, mate. you good? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, you had about a 45 minute drive here, didn't you? Yeah, a bit longer than you. Yeah, a little bit longer than me. I'm glad you come my way. But this is where the dark sky is. Absolutely. You can see the stars already. Yeah, it looks really good actually. So I think we're forecast clear skies until uh, gone midnight. Yeah, that'd be great. So hopefully we'll go. So you're over there. Yeah. The Astro bus is over here. So uh, we'll get everything set up. You can then have a look at your newly acquired HEQ5. I'll no. show you it with the legs. Have you got the legs yet no. for the EQ6? All right. time to power it up. So we'll bung on Nina on and we'll start off with a three point polar alignment and then we'll see if we can find, uh, oh, let's get that red torch out of your eyes, uh, we'll see if we can find the Rosette Nebula. I shall be back. So after all the normal issues of uh, setting up your rig uh, remotely, it goes really well doesn't it when you've never been somewhere, but uh, finally got it on the Rosette Nebula and uh, 
first sub is in. I don't know if that's, uh, you can see that, the angle I've got, but uh, that's the HA and it uh, looks really nice, so I'm very happy with that. Guiding's taking a little bit of time to settle down, um, but uh, I'm recording a pet curve as well. I'm going to show Simon how to do that on this so he can see. Um, yeah, we're guiding at one arc second at the moment, which isn't the best, but it's uh, okay with the image scale we've got, so um, the stars are nice and round, but uh, we'll see if we can get this to settle down, give it a little bit of time, and then hopefully it'll be okay. Right, we'll be back. We, uh, we need to sort out a drink, I think. Paul Simon's lost his glasses, um, but uh, while the rigs are busy working, we're busy uh, drinking coffee, so uh, life's difficult, as you can uh, most be imagined. All right, we'll talk to you later. Right, I'm just going to take a look at Simon's rig because it does look rather nice. He's on an EQ6R Pro, and he's got an Esprit 120, the 120 ED. It's a lovely scope. It's a big old lump, isn't it? I'm quite surprised at the size. I've not, I've not actually seen one in the flesh, so uh, yeah, that is nice. How much does it weigh? Do you know? I have no idea. I can't remember. Yeah. Makes my little, my little 130 PDS look quite small, doesn't it? <laughs> They're very similar, actually, size in the tube, aren't they? Actually. Yeah, it's nice though. I like that. Very nice. Yeah, and I like the eye polar. I liked how quickly you were polar aligning. That was a nice. That was a nice thing. I think I'm going to um, have a look at one of them. Definitely. Well. I was just going to make a point of the fact that the moon's going to come up and try and ruin our imaging, but we're still pointing up there towards the rosette, and it's going well. Everything's going well. The subs are coming in nice. The 130 is doing a good job. The huge 120 is doing a great job. The Astra bus is well steamed up. That was because Simon and me had a coffee, nothing else, I promise. <laughs> Get them all talking. I'm not saying it's cold or that we're wimps or anything, but we've turned them, <laughs> turned the engine on and turned the heaters on because it's cold. <laughs> Do you know what the temperature is, Simon? No idea. Let's see what my watch says. Oh, it's freezing out there, isn't it? No, it is. I don't know what it is. Cold. Cold, very cold. That's what I'm going to say. That's, that's my weather forecast for today's cold. <laughs> anyway, this, I wonder if clear outside will give me a temperature that's accurate, because it certainly doesn't give me any clouds uh, <laughs> predictions that are accurate. It just lies. <clears throat> Um, 91% moon tonight, that's lovely. Just what we wanted, wasn't it? It's clear till four in the morning, Simon. <coughs> yeah, I think it right. Uh, apparently it's one degree. Feels like minus three. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's what my feet are telling me anyway. Get your flip and then we'll do my flip because you're going to be first. I'm, I'm, I don't know why, but I'm 40 seconds behind you. Behind, oh, 
Astro Bus has done a great job tonight. I think it's a bit dark here. Let me just turn the light on. It's going to be way too bright, though. Oh, my God. Poof. Blinded battle, hey. It's a good job I'm not doing uh, visual, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, the bus has been great tonight. Um, got a really lovely dark sky here. We've got a really good uh, spot. Uh, dark area, middle of nowhere, which is absolutely superb. Just going to knock this light off so that you might be able to get some stars. I doubt it, but uh, everything's working really well tonight. Um, now we go, well, yeah. I say it's all working well tonight, it's uh, working well now. It wasn't early, I was having a few connection issues. I think I was using a uh, USB lead that might have been a little bit too long. Um, the old uh, USB 3's fussy. I was trying to give the uh, looks a little bit misty my lens, but I think that's just me. That's how, the, uh, that's how it goes. But, um, yeah, the night's going well. Uh, hopefully it will stay clear for a bit longer so we can get some more subs in, but um, so far so good.